Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is another moment of shame and embarrassment as after William Ruto told the nation that KICC made 29 million Kenya shillings last year, NTV went on a fact-finding mission. And according to what the NTV Wanapata is that it is not true the way William Ruto anakuja kuambia wa Kenya kwamba KICC ina make pesa kidogo and in last year they made 29 million Kenya shillings. After a fact-finding mission by NTV now we are getting that KICC made 956 million Kenya shillings last year. Now, this year alone, from January to May, this year alone, this year alone, from January to May, KICC made over 500 million in profits. Just this year. Leave alone now, William Ruto is telling us that last year, at KICC, it was 29 million Kenya shillings. But according to the report, KICC made 956 million Kenya shillings. Then this year, starting from January to May, KICC made over 500 million Kenya shillings in profits. Again, William Ruto, about Kenya Pipeline Company, Ruto said, that it only makes 200 or 300 million a year. And again, after NTV found out that Kenya Pipeline Company had made 7.5 billion Kenya shillings in 2023 and 6.2 billion Kenya shillings in 2022, which translates to 21% profit. So in a 200, 300 million Kenya shillings in William Ruto alikuwa anaambia what during the interview inapatikana kwamba ni uongo and this according to the public domain and also the way the treasury reads whatever Kenya pipeline company made in last year and this year so William Ruto kusema kwamba 200 300 million Kenya shillings in uongo Kenya Pipeline Company made 7.5 billion Kenya shillings in this year. This year. See 300 million. See 300 million. While he made 7.5 billion Kenya shillings. Then last year, while he made 6.2 billion Kenya shillings. And that translates to 21 profit. 21% profit. Ruto also claimed to be losing 3 million every time. 3 million, 3 million every time Post Bank is opened. And that they have lost 1 billion every year, according to the Post Bank, during their business. Again, we are finding that William Ruto was lying. The figures are 6.5 million Kenya shillings per day. William Ruto is again inaccurate. And this is simply simple line. I want you to watch the inclusive how NTV is coming out to expose William Ruto. Arifa zetu kupitia mahojiano ya Rais William Ruto pamoja na wanahabari Jumapili ikigusia masuala ya kitaifa. Rais William Ruto aliweka wazi masuala kuhusu faida au hasara kutoka kwa taasisi mbalimbali za serikali. NTV ilifanya ukaguzi wa ukweli kwenye mahojiano ya Rais na hapa ni maelezo zaidi na Melita Oletenges. Namo tarehe 27 Novemba mwaka 2023 Wizara ya Hazina ya Kitaifa na Mipango ya Kiuchumi ilitangaza mipango ya kubinafsisha taasisi tofauti za serikali ili kuepuka sara ambazo ni ovyo serikalini na kati ya taasisi hizo ni jumba la KICC How much money do we get from KICC? Last year we got 29 million. The other year we got I think 40 million. How much? 40 million. What, what a waste, you know? 
Hata hivyo mnamo Septemba usimamizi wa KICC ulitangaza kwamba ulikuwa umejizolea mapato maradufu. Kwa muktasari milioni sita katika mwaka 2022 kati ya Januari na Juni mwaka 2023 milioni 516 kati ya Julai na Desemba mwaka 2022 milioni 440.9 Kenya Pipeline Company is a company that is worth 300 billion Kenya shillings How much 300 billion 300 billion How much money are the people of Kenya getting from Kenya Pipeline I think it is only once or twice that we have gotten 1 billion a year Otherwise we get 200 million we get 300 million Kulingana na ripoti ya mkaguzi mkuu muktasari wa kampuni ya Kenya Pipeline ni kama ifuatavyo Shilingi bilioni 7.5 kabla ya ushuru Juni mwaka 2023 milioni 6.2 kabla ya ushuru Juni mwaka 2022 Hiyo inaashiria asilimia moja ya ongezeko kabla ya ushuru When we open post bank we lose 3 million In the last five years we have lost 1 billion shillings every every year. How much? 1 billion shillings every year. Because of because nobody wants to make a decision about Postbank. Rais vile vile alisema kuwa benki ya Postbank inaleta hasara ya shilingi milioni tatu kila siku ila utafiti wetu unaonyesha hali ni mbaya zaidi. Ripoti ya ukaguzi ya afisi ya mkaguzi mkuu inaelezea benki ya Postbank kuwa na hasara shilingi bilioni moja nukta nne hasara ya kila mwaka hesabu ya siku mbili na nane za kufanya kazi kila mwaka ina maana kwamba benki hiyo inapoteza shilingi milioni tano nukta sita kila siku Huku rais akisistiza kuwa mageuzi katika sekta ya kahawa yanazaa matunda. Takwimu za uuzaji kahawa Nairobi zinaonyesha biashara imepungua. Kutoka tani alfu... Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask a simple question. William Ruto is playing with our minds when it comes to the figures, you know? But the reality is coming as per what is being gotten from Uh, the controller or rather from the auditor general and what we are having i, I just i just want to count check um, three things here when look at kicc william root is saying that they made 29 million kenya shillings 29 million kenya shillings now you're being told ruto is lying they made 956 million Kenya shillings almost 1 billion Kenya shillings now hizo pesa zingine zimeenda wapi secondly as we are being told that from january to may kcc litengeneza 500 million Kenya shillings 500 million Kenya shillings hiyo pesa imeenda wapi about Kenya pipeline company william ruto anatuambia Last year they made 200 million Kenya shillings. According to the auditor, auditor general, you being given the report here that uh, the Kenya Pipeline Company made 7.5 billion Kenya shillings. Your pesa ilienda wapi? Then this year William Ruto said that the Kenya Pipeline Company made 300 million Kenya shillings. According to the reports we are getting from the auditor general is that 6.2 billion Kenyan shillings was made in this year 6.2 billion Kenyan shillings your pesa imeenda wapi and as the the report says that when it comes to Kenya pipeline company and what they have gotten translate to 21% profit loss gani william ruto anasema at the same time this money say that Kenya post bank is making a loss of 3 million Ken shillings every day but according to what we are, we are being told is that uh, the bank is losing 6.5 million ken shillings a day which translate to 1.4 billion ken shillings now who is lying to who who is lying to who because when you look at even the prospect of william ruto purporting to come out telling the truth is not the truth that this man is telling us ni uongo mtupu anazidi kusema 
Now, NTV is doing a good job. They're doing a good job because they're counter, counter checking the reality and the truth. You know, the reality and the truth. But at, at the same time, it is so funny. William Ruto is so, so strong and robust on how he's telling Kenyans how KSC, Kenya Pipeline, companies making laws, but at the same time they're making money. Is it pesas in Ainda Wapi? And that is why his interest in selling those parastatals is to save on multi billion shillings. All he cares is about his money. The only thing that William Ruto is purported doing now is all about money. And um, they are going to loot public resources as they can. But at the same time, um, William Ruto made Kenyans feel so sad that KCC and pipeline companies making laws is that now they are finding, finding it contrary, opposite, the way they were thinking. So for me, I think enough is enough. William Ruto Mesha to Danganya Kutosha. And now the action relies to Kenyans. And when it comes to their decisions, you know, as we are continuing to debunk the lies of William Ruto, the way we are continuing to debunk the lies of William Ruto, now the action lies on your hands and also on your decision. It is not us. Make your decision wise, as what we believe in is that William Ruto is lying to you, no matter what. No matter many times you'll come out to say that this and this, but William Ruto is lying to you. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think?